Hey, I'm Robbie with Category 5 Technology TV, and today we're looking at Enemy Territory Quake Wars. Target destroyed. Now imagine this for a scenario. Evil aliens have found a way to teleport onto the planet Earth, and it's up to us, the GDF, in order to uh, protect the Earth against the evil Strog forces that are trying to take over. We've got wicked weapons, we've got amazing gameplay, and an intelligent, <laughs> imagine that, an intelligent artificial intelligence. I like the AI in the game, the team members you're working with, because uh, they actually get things done. They, they don't just follow a predetermined path actually think they're intelligent. The way they interact with you. It's, uh, it's very much um, a team-based game that, uh, that gets it, which is nice. In the past, when we're playing Deathmatch or uh, other collaborative or cooperative games, uh, it's hard to, uh, to play with only a couple of people because of the fact that uh, usually the bots are just not intelligent. They're going to camp or they're going to not behave like a real player would. Uh, with Enemy Territory Quake Wars, it was much, much superior to any AI that I've seen, and uh, you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of playing even with a couple of players on a LAN party. In a lot of single-player games, for some time, you've had very advanced physics for vehicles, which have allowed you to do things like off-roading and racing and flying and have a greater level of realism. What we've tried to do with Enemy Territory Quake Wars, because it started out as a multiplayer title, is build physics that worked across the networking, but that more realistically simulated the kind of feedback you expected from vehicles. The great thing about this is that each of the vehicles, therefore, can fulfill a specific combat role. So a tank really is capable of travelling off-road, and a fast-flying hovercopter is really good at dogfighting. These functions of the vehicles extend the character classes in the game, so kind of uh, really just reinforcing the sense of, of a real focus on team play. As you can see, the graphics, as well as the animation in Enemy Territory Quake Wars, are absolutely superb. Now, they've achieved this with a, an excellent graphics department, they've done a fabulous job, but as well as that, with regards to the animation, in order to achieve that realism, they've pretty much produced the game a lot like you would with an animated movie. As you can see behind me, Enemy Territory Quake Wars runs natively on Linux, no having to install additional software or run it within virtual machines or emulators or anything like that. You can actually install it directly into Linux. So that's really awesome, gets it a couple extra points. And on top of that, um, we've also got excellent graphics, excellent gameplay. Uh, it's fun to play, a lot of fun. The artificial intelligence, as I said, is excellent, so uh, that's a bonus. And on top of that, just having a nice storyline, having a good story to follow and uh, you know, actually have a premise to the game so you're not just running around blindly shooting people. Uh, and on top of that, just the fact that you're not finding health packs and meta packs and things like that and different weapons all over the, the levels, it's, it just adds to the realism when in this game, if you die or if you get shot down or anything like that, 
Uh, you have to actually either respawn or wait for a medic to come and heal you. So you're not just going to be finding health packs and things like that. The realism is a lot better uh, in enemy territory Quake Wars. So check it out uh, at your next LAN party from Category 5 Technology TV. We give this a 10 out of 10, the first time that a game has ever achieved that score uh, on Category 5 Technology TV. You definitely want to check it out. Even with a small LAN party, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with the artificial intelligence. For Category 5 Technology TV, I'm Robbie Ferguson.